Every tiny star that twinkles in the night sky Every drop of morning dew Every spark of fire bracing in the fern Every gap to wedding view Every rainbow in the sky Every pretty butterfly Tell the fascinating you There's a death to hold And the message is God still loves the world God still, still loves the world So throw your back in His hand Day by day this in His plan God is passionating, busy loving you and me In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for the following intentions during this Gregorian Mass. For the departed soul of Basani Kaspar, Reddy, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Gade Roja Mary, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Mr. Joy John Lopes, Mass offered by Flory Lopes and family members. For the departed soul of Reshma de Souza, Mass offered by Agustin Parakal. For the departed souls of ancestors of Charles and Maimul, Mass offered by Maimul. For the soul of Brian Jude Fernandez, offered by Anita Saro and family. For the departed soul of Davis, Mass offered by Simi. For the departed soul of Marys, Mass offered by Simi. For the departed soul of Sia, Mass offered by Simi. For the departed soul of Godwillin de Rosario, Mass offered by Patian Audrey. Mass offered for the departed soul of Thomas and Julian de Silva, Mass offered by Vinci. For the departed soul of Gilroy and Octavian de Silvi, Mass offered by Vinci. For the departed soul of Egipso, Sancia, Nora, Rodrigos, Mass offered by Vinci. For the departed soul of Cloretta, Foncia, Mass offered by Sivio and Jyoti. For the departed soul of Telis Pinto, Mass offered by Savio Jyoti. For the departed soul of Dr. Michael Somasundaram, Mass offered by Owen. For the departed soul of Mr. Inasi Francis Xavier, Mass offered by grandchildren. For the departed soul of Mrs. Paraga Samal Xavier, Mass offered by grandchildren. For the departed soul of Mr. Marian Joseph, Mass offered by J.M.L. Vincent. For the departed soul of Mary Sheshikala, Mass offered by Premiel and family. For the departed soul of Lauren Cyril Rodriguez, Mass offered by Mrs. Maria de Souza. For the departed soul of Assisi Kajitan Fernandez, Mass offered by Mario de Souza. For the departed soul of Philomena Cross, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Selena Benedict, Mass offered by family members. For the departed soul of Blasius, Mass offered by Begin Blasius. For the departed souls of Baby and Sicily Baby, offered by Surya Baby. For the departed soul of Mr. Andrew Martis, Mass offered by Celine Martis. For the departed soul of Mr. K.P. Thomas, offered by Mrs. Gimol Robin, for the departed soul of Mrs. Maureen Somasundaram, offered by Leila and Vincent, for the departed soul of Anna Saheb Mohiti, offered by family members, for the departed soul of Katta Rayapa and Katta Kamalama, offered by family members, for all the souls of the aborted babies, mass offered by Felix Valery Gomes. For all the departed souls of priests and their family members, Mass offered by Felix Valery Gomes. For all the departed souls of nuns and their family members, Mass offered by Felix Valery Gomes. For all the souls in the purgatory, Mass offered by Felix Valery Gomes. For all the souls in the family of Felix Valery Gomes. Let us pray for these intentions throughout these 30 days. Dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading today, the Lord reminds us how He could open the hearts of human beings. 
in the first reading in lydia a poor woman who listened to the preaching of the paul and barnabas and god had opened her, her heart so that she could listen to the word of god and she later welcomed them and she says if you think that i am righteous enough please do come and stay in my house the gospel reading the lord reminds us again for his unconditional love but before he leaves anybody who would live in this world we always feel sorry but the lord strengthen his disciples though these are the parting days it will be a painful yet the consoler would come we also we are also praying for the people who have gone before us who have died and who need our prayers let us pray that like this lady lydia as well as the disciples who accepted jesus call we they also may accept the and they may enter god's kingdom with a contrite heart let us say i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words and what i have done and what i have, what I have failed to do to my fault to my fault to my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary our virgin all the angels and saints and to you, and to you my brothers and sisters to pray, to pray for, for me to, to the lord, lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray grant to merciful god that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the paschal observances through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. the lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by paul a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 16 verses 11 to 15 setting sail from troas we made a direct voyage to samothrace and the following day to nepolis and from there to philippi which is a leading city of the district of macedonia and a roman colony we remained in this city some days and on the sabbath day we went outside the gate to the river side where we supposed there was a place of prayer and went sat down and spoke to the woman who had come together one who heard us was a woman named lydia from the city of tyatri area a seller of purple goods who was a worshipper of god the lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by paul and after she was baptized and her household as well she had urged us saying if you have judged me to be faithful to the lord come to my house and sit stay and she prevailed upon us the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god ask and it shall be given unto you seek and ye shall find nor can the door shall be open unto you Hallelujah 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 Lord be with you and with and your with spirit your a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you o lord. Lord, 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 lord 
John chapter 15 verses 26 to chapter 16 verse 4. At the time, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of the Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me, and you also will bear witness, because you have, be, you have been with me from the beginning. I have said all these things to you to keep you away from falling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think that he is offering service to God. And they will do the things because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you that when, you, when their hour comes, you may remember that I have told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. We begin our journey with our birth. We end our journey in this world with our death. In the first reading, we have seen how Paul and Barnabas, both of them, trying to go to a different places to preach the word of God. And when they come to a particular place, and like these people going to different places in our life too, after our birth, we might have been nursed by so many people, so many places. But there will be a point where we come across. We meet God having a personal contact with him. Then our life and our, everything should be open. And as this lady, Lydia, who has welcomed the, the apostles, Paul and the others, welcomed into her house, she said, if I were to, if you think that I have lived a righteous life, good life, please do come. And she also received a baptism, entered in our master with our baptism. And the Lord himself reminds us in John chapter 3, you should be born spiritually. So therefore, she has taken that particular step when she was on this earth itself. In the gospel reading, we have heard Jesus speaking about the last days. After the resurrection, 40 days, he appeared to so many other people. And again, he fought this, this 40 days, the, his appearance would remind us again that all of us, after our death, we need to give a, account to God. But again, what kind of life have we lived? Jesus lived according to the will of the Father. In John chapter 4, when the disciples asked him, Lord, have something to eat. He said, my will is to do the will of the Father. When someone said in the gospel we read, Luke chapter 11 verse 27 and 28, a, lady, a woman from the crowd says, the breast which has fed you is more important, but the Lord says no, rather the one who listened to the word of God. Therefore, our ultimate rule as Christians, as the followers of the Lord, we need to follow him. The lady has followed and cherished God's presence. In the gospel, as we have heard, the disciples, especially all the disciples, when the Lord instructed them that he is leaving the world permanently to be with the Father on the right side pray, praying for each of us, these are the painful situation. Let us suppose if one of your family member would say that my death is on a particular day and I don't know how we behave or consider our life too. If God were to tell you today, you are going to die on such a day, what are you? What are your plans? Do you curse God or prepared. Thank God you have given me. We read in 2 uh, Kings chapter 20, a prophet who says, when God told him that your time has come, you have to come back. He said, Lord, please. And God gave him 15 years. You know, only three years were blessed. Therefore, let us, let the will of God be fulfilled in our life. Only then there will be a joy. Dear brothers and sisters, as we are praying for the number of the souls who need a redemption from the purgatory to, to heaven, let us pray that especially for those who are to whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. May the Lord be generous enough and kind enough to take them into his kingdom. As we continue to participate in the Holy Eucharist, let us pray this body and blood would give everlasting life to those who have died. What can I give? What can I bring? 
That will be pleasing to my King I give my heart Not just a part I'm lifting up my everything When it's all I have to offer you And it's all I have to give Two hands, one heart, one life to offer you Two hands, one heart, that's what I give to you Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for us such a great gladness, grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit in the perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and our duty our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time to above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. The halls of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all he has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, majesty, worship is majesty, Jesus who died, now glorify, King of all King. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, 
Pula Anthony Archbishop and our clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. Let us pray for the souls for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. Also people whom we have known and who have gone for eternal reward. Welcome them into the light of your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter my under my roof, roof but, but only, only say a word and my, my soul shall, shall be healed. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way. Dear brothers and sisters, let us all kneel in the presence of our Master and pray the litany for the faithful departed souls. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Our response is, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. 
God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. Our response is, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Michael, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you angels and archangels, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you orders of our blessed spirits, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Joseph, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy apostles and evangelists, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy martyrs, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy bishops and confessors, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy doctors, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy priests and Levites, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy virgins and widows, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you saints of God, pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Be merciful, spare them, O Lord. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Lord. Our response is, O Lord, deliver them. From all evil, O Lord, deliver them. From the rigor of your justice, O Lord, deliver them. From the power of the devil, O Lord, deliver them. From long enduring sorrow, O Lord, deliver them. From cruel flames, O Lord, deliver them. From terrible, horrible darkness, O Lord, deliver them. From dreadful weeping and wailing, O Lord, deliver them. Through your holy nativity, O Lord, deliver them. Through your most sweet name, O Lord, deliver them. Through your most profounded humiliations, O Lord, deliver them. Through your infinite love, O Lord, deliver them. Through your bloody sweat, O Lord, deliver them. Through your scorching, O Lord, deliver them. Through your crowning with thorns, O Lord, deliver them. Through your caring of the cross, O Lord, deliver them. Through your most cruel death, O Lord, deliver them. Through your five most of holy of wounds, O Lord, deliver them. Our response is, we beseech you, hear, our, hear us. We sinners, we beseech you, hear us. In the day of the judgment, we beseech you, hear us. You who forgave Magdalene, did grant the prayer of the thief, we beseech you, hear us. That you would be pleased to deliver the souls of our parents, relations, friends and benefactors from all the pain of hell, we beseech you, hear us that you would be pleased to have mercy on, tho on those of whom no special remembrance is made on earth. We beseech you, hear us. That you would be pleased to grant them all the pardon and remission of our sins. We beseech you, hear us. That you would be pleased to receive them into the company of the blessed. We beseech you, hear us. King of lawful majesty. We beseech you, hear us. Son of God, we beseech you, hear us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant unto them eternal rest. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant unto them eternal rest. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant unto them rest everlasting. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord, have mercy. L Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. From the gate of hell, deliver their souls, O Lord. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto you. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and the Redeemer of all the faithful, Grant unto the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins, that by the pious supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desire. Grant this, O God, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. O eternal God, who besides the general act 
precepts of charity has commanded a particular respect for parents kindred and benefactors grant we beseech you that as they were the instruments by which your providence bestowed on us our birth education innumerable other blessings so our prayers may be the means to obtain for them a speedy release from their excessive sufferings and admittance to your infinite joys through Christ our Lord amen eternal rest grant unto them o lord and let, let the perpetual light shine upon them may they rest in peace amen let us pray look what kindness upon your people o lord and grant what we pray we pray that those you are pleased to renew by your new et- eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorporeal glory of resurrection through Christ our lord amen. amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks, thanks be to thanks god, god. above all kingdom above all throne above all wonder the world is ever know above all glory and treasures of the earth there's no word to measure what your word crucify lay behind a stone you left to die rejected and alone like a rose tremble on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above all